Hello everybody, I'm Nasty Mold and it's time to find all of the candles in Sky. This is going to be a full guide, realm to realm, starting at Isle of Dawn, going to the Vault of Knowledge. So first things first, if we get the daily quests from the quest giver here, we can get a bunch of candles from them every single day. And if these candles are outside of a realm, that means that there are four candle cakes hidden within that realm that very day. So we're going to speed things up a little bit just because there is a lot to get through. We're starting with gathering these ones in the home space. This whole video will be sped up, so if you need to, you can feel free to slow it down. I'm also going to upload individual chunks in a playlist of slower versions, so you can follow those if you'd like to. And in that way, if there's any new additional candles, I'll just add them to that playlist, and I'll leave a little note in the description. So our first bunch of candles is just behind this barrier here. Of course, you need to collect one spirit from the Isle of Dawn to enter that barrier. Our next candle cluster is quite a ways away. It's towards the left side of the map. There's this little secret area here. You need to collect three spirits from forest to enter. And all the way at the end, we have a candle cake. Now to speed things up, I usually go home and then take the return shrine back. And that way we don't have to make our way through this cave again. And now you can see we're back in the middle of the aisle. So I'm just ignoring all this stuff. We're just going to head up to the temple here and veer to the left a little bit. To get through this barrier, you need to collect two spirits from the Isle of Dawn. And there's some small patches of candles on our way down. Ahead of us is some darkness plants that someone has already burnt, so we're just going to collect that. And on to our next area. Heading back out here. We're going to actually go into the temple. On either side, there is a little batch of candles, which will give you just a small amount of wax. And then we're going to head through that door. Now it seems insignificant, but there is a single wax you can get here from this candle. Like I said, it's all wax in the game. And now we're going to head to the left here and through that cloud tunnel. Once the door opens, there's some wax right below us. Now you can use the elevator to get up with a friend, but if you're a solo player, it might already be open and already lit. Up here is our next bit of wax. And now we'll need to leave and go up. Ugh, why is the door locked? Please? There we go. So now we're headed up to that cave. We just gotta fly straight up. And our next bundle of candles is surrounding that winged light you can find in here. Voila! Our next cake is at the very top, so we're just going to head through this tunnel. And there it is. After this, we're going to head to the Prophecy Caves, which are just below us. So from here, we just head down. There will be some at the entrance as well inside the cave and then in each of the trials. Now I'm not going to show you how to get through every single trial, I have links for those videos in the description below, but I will show you where they are in the trials. To enter this area you should have two spirits collected from the forest. Right, so we have a big cake here, and then from here we're actually going to head straight up. There's a little crack in the ceiling. Keep going. And if you can't make it, or you're running out of light, just fly into the clouds here. Alright, and that is all of the light in the Isle of Dawn, minus the trials, which we're going to do next. Let's go! Alright, so this is the very end of the Trial of Water. If you need help getting through this trial, there is a link in the description. Our first wax we're going to grab is actually just right behind us. I'm pretty sure you can actually grab this one while playing the game normally. 
but I usually wait until I am fully lit and I can just walk on the water. It's a lot easier. Big cake. Our next one is sort of towards the left of the map. You can see there's a little ring ahead of us. We're headed there. And hidden in the middle is a small little batch of candles. And the third one is quite hidden for this map. It's just behind this little mountain at the very end. Hi, sneaky guy. All right, with that, we're gonna head to the next trial, the Trial of Earth. So for this one, we will be going through it really quickly just because there are small clusters hidden around here. I do think Earth is maybe one of the easier trials. They made it a lot easier to jump onto the platforms. So our first small cluster is just to the left here. Ta-da! And we just keep going through. Our second cluster is right ahead through this door. third cluster is my least favorite. It's on this little rotating cube. Oh, uh, whoa, okay. So you have to have the patience to let it turn around so you can light every single one, which I just, I don't have. I don't have the patience for it. I always leave before it's done. I'm pretty sure it wasn't done. Our fourth cluster is just in this room. And our fifth cluster is just at the very end of this jumping puzzle. Now we're done with jumping for the most part, so we're gonna head to the very end where we will have some candle cakes waiting for us. Lots and lots and lots of delicious wax. Mmm. All right, now we are going to the trial of air. So we are at the very end of the trial of air. We have four candle cakes to collect in between these little pillars. And that's that. Now for the trial of fire. The very end of Trial of Fire again, we have four more cakes to collect. And that is it for the Isle of Dawn. Alright, starting off with the Daylight Prairie, we have our first stuff right here in the little social space. We're just gonna fly to the next area. I usually fly above the clouds, I think it's a little faster, but I don't know. Depends what you want to do. Now 
Now I will usually collect the candles on the right hand side here first. The one in the middle, the one in this little barrier room where you do need one spirit collected from the Daylight Prairie to enter. There's one right underneath this rock. Oh no. By the exit here. And then towards the cave's entrance. Now we're going to go through this entrance. There are some candles right to our left here on top of this giant pot. And I like to fly up and grab the ones on the right hand side here. Through here. There's just a small cluster at the very end hidden behind. And then I go down, collect these candles, and go through this back cave. So our candles should be right ahead of us here, and then turn to the left, and there's a few more in this little area. We're gonna keep going through this cave, and we're gonna leave through the opposite side. There's one more little cluster here. And through this barrier, just one more. Woo! So from here, we're gonna head to the bottom of the first island, right in front of this two-player door. There's some wax. And then up top, there's another cluster. I usually burn the first part, the front candles here, to just get these cutscenes out of the way. If you're a solo player, it's very likely that if you burn the front of all of them and come back, the entire bell tower will be burnt for you. So you don't have to worry about jumping around it, burning off all that wax, just do the front parts for now. I usually get these stray candles on the sides, like here and through this two-player door. There's one on each side here. And then one at the bottom of this tower here, and then we're doing the front again. Alright, now if we jump up, all the wax has been burnt for us. So I'm heading back to that first island to get all the wax from the top. And then the second one. And we're good, that's pretty much all the wax in this area. So now we're headed to the third island again. We're gonna go inside of it, into that eight player room. Hello, someone help? Please? Oh, hello. And from here, we're just gonna go in and there will be a couple little clusters. You do need to collect six spirits from the prairie to enter this door. And then after collecting this wax here, I'm just going to skip ahead until we are all the way up, just because we have to wait for eight players. Hello, we're up. So I usually go up here to collect these ones first, just because people will already be lighting those ones down there, and you don't really have to. And I start collecting the one on the right-hand side of the exit, just so once I collect all these in a circle, all I have to do is leave. Very fast, very easy. Now we're at the top of the temple. We have some wax beside the koi pond here. Next to the entrance. Some tiny clusters going up here. And then we have to sneak around the back, slip through the side. And there's a little hidden smiley face candle here. So cute. So now we're just gonna leave and we're gonna head to that bird nest area of prairie. I usually start on the far right island. Just on the lower part, there's a little tiny candle cluster. 
Then you fly up top. There's one up here. Then you go across. And then next to this tower here, there's a cluster on top of the tower. Across on this lower tower. And then the lower part of this tower and on top. Lots of towers here. I usually will head out and underneath of this island now. And then across and underneath the middle island. And we're done with this area, now we're going to head to the Sanctuary Islands. From here we head to the first island, and there should be some wax inside. Looks like it's all burnt though. Makes it easier for us, a lot faster. Now we head to the very, very top of the mountain where there will be a candle cake. We just drop off below to this pond. So right here we have another cake. Across is some darkness. Then we fly up and go through the cave on the right side. From here there's a little more darkness. Now we can leave, fly up and left, very, very tight left. And we have another cake next to the quest giver here. From here, we're going to head straight. And there will be an opening. We're going to go through this opening right here. There's some wax there. And we're just continuing through here. In this next area, there is a giant darkness tree. If you're by itself, it'll usually be burnt, but if you're with a bunch of friends, you may have to burn it yourselves. It's quite large, so just be ready for that. Oh, I got kicked by a crab. We'll keep going up here, collecting all the wax, and back down. The way we came, we're gonna head left here, and then we will be out of the cave. And that is it for the Sanctuary Islands and also the Prairie. And now we're headed to the Hidden Forest and this is where wax collection starts to get a little more complicated just because the forest has darkness plants and sometimes they can be on different cycles. So if you don't see a plant around here, it's probably just on a different cycle. For instance, this one won't always be here, but this one will always be here headed through the gate here. There is sometimes wax in the very front here, but not today. And there is always going to be wax right here. There is sometimes wax right here, but not always. Sometimes there's some in this tree right here. Sometimes there's some across in this tree here, in this tree in here and behind this tree but it depends on the cycle so if you're keeping a lookout you will always be able to find the, the wax it's just in a slightly different spot and that's how it gets a little more complicated so in this area all the wax is in the same spot it never changes why isn't it burning come on we have some over here I usually go across to this little candle, light this one, and then I go back towards the Shy Spirit. From here I go across to this star over here, and then through this tunnel, across to the end of the Shy Spirit, and then I work my way around here until we get to that like sewer pipe. Get the wax here and then we go inside and in the very middle there should be a fork we're going through the middle fork where there is a candle cake and then back the way we came so from here i head towards the right right along the river here there's some wax underneath this tree and then we have this little crab cave here Now 
we keep following the river up, there's some next to this lantern, and then up top. We head behind us, and we have a big breakfast plant underneath this little shelter. And then we fly straight up, and there's a small amount here. Now we're going to fly straight across to where this winged light is. And we have all these candles just hugging the trunk of this tree. Head straight down, back towards like the river. And across the bridge. Through this tunnel. And we are done with this area. have a small amount right here and then I usually fly across to this big trunk get the wax behind it and get the wax in this gorge so now we're at an area with cycles again sometimes there will be some on this trunk instead and sometimes there will be some underneath this thing here not always again these are the cycles so gets a little confusing. I usually head back the way we came, go through here, and there will always be wax underneath this tree, and sometimes some right here. Fly over that, and we will release this manta. We have this darkness plant. These will always be here as well. I'll usually do this whole bridge first, and that way we can stop the rain if you want to. Okay, that one's just not going to work, and that is just fine. If you light all these candles here, the rain will stop, so you won't have to worry too much about your light just getting stolen. Now there's sometimes some wax over there, sometimes in the front here. And if it's not in the front here, then there'll be a small batch right here, along the bones. I know this is probably super confusing, but you just have to keep doing candle runs here and you'll know exactly where places are. Sometimes there's some in that little building. This one here is always going to be here. And the ones in this cave and on top of this cave are always here as well. We head up top, and we should have two darkness plants. Thankfully, if you're by yourself, most of the stuff ends up just getting burnt. So it's nice you don't have to really deal with it. Now I go across towards the sunny forest, and to enter this barrier, you do need to collect eight spirits from the forest. As we head through, there should be two darkness plants in this rainy area. And then we fly across the bridge here. Whee! and head up to where you can collect this winged light. There should be one plant up here. It may be in a different spot because of the cycles. Now I head towards the beginning of this area and there's a plant around here. Again, it might be in a different spot because of cycles. There should be a wax on the left or right here and then one up top. This one up top is always there. And from here, we're gonna head into the underground forest. To get down here, you do need the angry or stomp a moat. Here we have a ton of wax to collect. And if you're going by yourself, usually it'll just burst and be burnt already, which makes it so much easier. We head across here and there's a small amount of wax there. And then across to this upper part where you can see all these butterflies, there are two patches of darkness plants here. Now we can head out, I'm just going to have to recharge really quick. So we can just fly up here, I usually just fly up with these birds. And we can leave. And that is everything for the sunny forest. And everything for the broken bridge area as well. So we're just going to head out of here, back towards the broken bridge and to the exit of this area. Now the reason I leave the sunny forest as the last area is because I just like to fly across using these birds. It's so easy and it's so fast. You don't have to like reset the bridge or anything. 
you display. Now, if you're playing by yourself, the first thing I would do is get this meditation circle set up and just sit down because when we get to the next area, everything will have popped and you won't have to burn any of the darkness. If you're playing with friends, you may have to burn it. So this is on cycles as well. If the wax isn't here, it'll be across on this stump. And if the wax isn't here, it will be across underneath this big tree. Now we head back to that meditation area and all the darkness should be burnt. I usually grab this one up here first and then jump underneath, go across to the other side and then the giant darkness plant is burnt as well. And that is it for the hidden forest. Easy peasy. Now it's time for the Valley of Triumph. Valley is one of the funner ones. I like the sliding races. Uh, so I usually will grab this wax here and then jump down and grab this one at the end. Oh, leg spike. Oh, that happens from time to time. Wow. Just reset my graphics. That usually helps. Grab that one there. We don't grab all of them first just because we'll be coming down here again, so it's okay, we don't have to go out of our way to grab them. Same if we miss these, we don't have to like stop. We'll be coming back through here. And now from here, I like to start flying towards the right. There's a couple candles across this little cliff here. Let me jump underneath and gather the ones around the ice rink. we go underneath the ring, there is a big candle cluster. I'm going to keep collecting these candles though. We have one more line here around the ice rink. There should be three lines in total. From here we're going to head down this super super long unnecessary tunnel. And at the very end there should be a candle cake. So very similar to the long tunnel in the Isle of Dawn, I just find it easier after collecting this cake to head home and then use the return shrine. I think it's a little faster than flying back through, but maybe not. And from here, I'll usually do the flying race first just because that's the one I don't want to do the most. So we head to the left one. There's plenty of small batches of wax to collect around here. So I usually start on the right side. I have a little cluster there. And then into this building, there's a small cluster. Fly to the left a bit. In this building, there's some. Right in front of this building, there's some. And then we fly up. And in this building, there is some. From here, it's just on this little flat platform next to the stairs, and then around this little gazebo thing, and then up to the very top. Some in here, and some across this bridge. Now I usually fall down quite a bit here before I start flying, but we're going to collect from the top of all these. Oh no, oh god, I missed, I missed so bad. But you know what? It's okay if we miss, because we're doing two turns on it. We go around, and back. If you missed any, we're going back around. There we go. And now for the flying race. So I am going to be skipping the race, but we do have these small individual candles all around this room. Okay, and I will see you guys at the bottom of this race. Okay, so we're at the bottom. I actually don't collect those little light things in the middle. The first thing I do is I fly up to the left hand side and collect this candle cluster, and then continue on towards the statue here, where there is another candle cluster. You don't need to collect all that light to get your candle, you just wait until the timer runs down and it will teleport you to the middle. Ta-da! 
and we still get our candle. There's really no purpose to the light in this race at all, but uh, that's okay. Now from here we collect these candles and then we head through the big, big door. Let me in! Okay, the first thing I collect is the satisfying place. Then just run around this statue and just get a ton of wax. Feels so good. Yum, 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 yum. Alright, now I fly up, and towards the right, there is this little maze. There will be some darkness right in front. It looks like it's already burnt, though. I usually jump down, and there's some darkness in this entrance on the opposite side. Fly back up and go across. Then we fly, or you can climb the staircase. Oh god. Oh god. What am I doing? Okay. We're gonna climb the staircase. That was chaos. From here, we go through this door, and now we can head home. And we're gonna be doing the second race now. So we're at the very top of Valley again. This time, I go down the middle, and I collect this one candle. And then we jump towards the right side and go down. And that should be all the candles here, unless you missed any. Oh my god, why do I always get intense leg spikes in Valley? So from here, we're going to head to the sliding race now. And I'm just going to skip to the bottom of it once again. Enjoy your race. Okay, we are at the bottom. And once again, we're going to fly up, but this time head to the right-hand side. The candles will be in the exact same spot. And across towards the statue once more. And then we just wait for the timer to run out again and we will get our candle from the race. So after the race, we fly up towards the dreams entrance. That's the one with this big barrier here. We can get some wax from that. And in we go. So across here is a big candle cake. Then back towards the main area of dreams, like where the quest giver is. Just above the quest giver, we're just going to keep flying up. And we have a little secret hot springs. Now from here, we're going to stick to the clouds. Keep flying into the clouds. I'm not very good at this, so I'm just going to be following these people. I assume they know what they're doing. Look at them, they're pros. Now we're just doing this so that we can skip the entire ski lift thing. It just takes too much time, especially if you're doing the fast-paced candle run. Yeah, it's not worth it. Uh, this part up here takes a lot of practice. I'm not the best at it. It's almost worth it to just light the ski lift at the end and go up that way. But if you manage to be good at this, good good job. Wow, you're amazing. And now here we are at the Hermit Valley. So our last candle cake is just inside the Yeti's home. Here we are. And that is everything for the Valley of Triumph. Woo! All right, and now it's time for the Golden Wasteland. Now I do a super weird route at first, so just trust the process, it does make sense. I grab all the wax on like the outskirts first. So this guy's on a cycle, if it's not here, it'll just be right next to it basically. I grab the stuff on the far left here, and this will always be here. So the Wasteland has cycled wax, and it's kind of weird because every Sunday both cycles will be present, so you can get extra wax if you do a candle run on Sundays. Next up is the wax in front of these pipes. They may not always be present here, but there will always be some here, just on a cycle. Cycles are so weird. Now I head across, I ignore all this. And I grab this wax here. Again, if it's not in this exact spot, it'll just be really close by. And now we head to the arc. So the reason I did that little zigzag formation is so that when I come back, all I have to do is go straight. I don't have to go out of my way at all to grab any of that wax. It's just a dead straight line. So from here, we're gonna head to the forgotten arc. 
And as soon as you're able to fly out of the boat, do it because the clouds are so much faster. There are some small clusters of candles along the boat. I think they're on a cycle, so they may be in different spots. I honestly don't come to Ark that often. There's one there. There's one there. One here. Maybe they're not on a cycle. You know what? I just don't know. And one at the very top. Alright, now we're going to head down towards this crab cave here, but first we're going to collect this darkness. As you can see, the light is not as bright and noticeable. That's just because we've gone through all of our chevrons above our candle. It's like the game's way of saying, you should take a break now, but uh, we're not gonna. No way. So we've got this big plant here. For some reason, I missed this next area in my original recording, but we just head to the right and the left here, and there's a small cluster. There should be one right here. I think I already collected it today. And then the other one will be right across in this little room. I know the caves are kind of confusing, but it's basically just one big circle if you do the candle run right. And now we're just heading back down this hall, and we should be out. Sorry for how poorly these are, like, stitched together. Wow. Now we're gonna head towards this area. Now this red light won't always be here, it's just my quest for the day, so I'm gonna collect it while I'm here. Might as well. Thank you. Uh, there was some darkness there we ran into, some on the other side, and some in front of this hole. Like I said, the darkness is kinda hard to see now. There's some right there. And we head out through this hole, and towards this little boat wreck. There's going to be some wax on the very top here, some going down, Oop, some in the middle, some in front of this piece, and behind here. And that is it for the art. Let's head back home and back towards the wasteland. So the reason I did that first is now we just have to go straight. We will burn this darkness right here. Again, it's on a cycle, so it might be in a slightly different spot. All this darkness here. And thankfully, it's all burnt already. That's so nice. Go through here. Sometimes there's some in the corner, but not today. And across. And there should be some darkness here. Now we're just going through here, and there'll be darkness right below us. Watch out for the grill. We hide behind. Sometimes there was some darkness right where we were standing, but not today. That's a different cycle. We have some in the corner here. This one is always here. And then we head into this area here to the left, and we have a bunch of darkness. These ones are also cycled, but they'll always be around the side. Okay, and now we head down into the graveyard. Woo! Now if you're scared of the krill, this area might be hard for you. So we have this wax here. It is always here. Sometimes there will be some here. And we're just gonna wait for this guy to pass. We have this big darkness plant. Uh, if you're by yourself, sometimes it will burn, but it's kind of unlikely. You usually have to burn it. There was some darkness in that room. And that one's on a cycle too, so it won't always be here. This one will always be here. And as we head up here, these steps will always be here. And this wax will always be here. Now I usually head towards the exit of this area because there's sometimes some wax over here. And there is today. My sky kit is quite short, and sometimes they can't burn all the wax there. It's very sad. So our last stop is this giant darkness plant. 
You can just wait and see if it will pop, but uh, if you have a bunch of people joining your server, it might be best to help them. Here we are at the very end. Ta-da! Bye, big tree. Now we're gonna head towards this door here. There is gonna be a giant wind wall that pushes you back when you go through. Now sometimes there's wax right at that entrance, and sometimes there's some right there. Sometimes there's some right here, and some inside right there. Sometimes there is some behind this stone, and there is today. And sometimes there's some in this water right here, which there is. Flying up, there's some here sometimes. And that is all the wax that should be around this boat. Now we're heading to the exit, and this wax here is always permanent. Looks like it's all burnt for us, so we're just going to head up and collect it. Do -do 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 -do. If you're playing solo, the wax is almost always burnt, and it's just the best. Now we're headed to the battlefield area. So from here, I like to head left. We're going to be flying towards like this big pillar with a piece of cloth on it. From here, we're going to head towards the ruins. Oh no, I'm pretty low on flight, so we're gonna have to... Hmm. I guess we'll collect from the bottom. I usually fly to the top and collect from there downwards, but we're gonna do the opposite today. So sometimes there is a darkness plant here. We're just gonna have to make our way all the way up. Do 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 across. And we have a plant here. We have one right here as well. And then sometimes right here. All right, we have some people burning this darkness plant, so we're gonna go help them. There we go. Now we're gonna go across here, and there's a darkness plant that will always be here. Now towards this little building. This one's on a cycle, so it might not always be here. And then there should be a plant right here, but if there's not, it'll be on this one. And same thing up ahead, there should be one on this side, but if there's not, it's on the opposite side. So these ones are pretty easy to remember, they just zigzag. We have our final darkness plant right here, and this one is always there. And then we open the gate. So we have just a couple more candles, and then we are done with the wasteland. We have three little rows of them behind here. And then finally, if we light this, we get a little bit of wax from it too. And that is everything for the Golden Wasteland. Now we're gonna head back home and get started on the Vault of Knowledge. Now before we go into the vault, I'm just gonna change my cape to either the Beta or the Founder's Cape. This will give us access to the office, and this is completely optional. You don't need it for your candle run. But if we head directly to the left side, there's a little secret area here. There's some candles we can collect. And the reason we need this cape is to get through the barrier ahead. You need this cape to get through, so you can either have a friend bring you through, or a stranger bring you through, or if you have it yourself, come on through. You can purchase this cape in the office, so you do need to be in here to be able to buy it. And it's just in the shop. It does cost real money. I think it's $30 US, which is pretty expensive just to enter this area, but it does come bundled with a bunch of candles. So if we have this cape, this little portal will open for us. Now that we're in the office, we can collect these candles on the shelf here. And if 
we head to the right. And down this hall, there's just some darkness we can burn. And that is all for the office, so we can always just head home, or we can go back through that portal. It'll take us to the beginning of the vault. Now the first area we're going to go is towards the right. We need another person to help us open this door. But sometimes it weirdly allows us to go in by ourselves. We do need to collect one spirit from the vault before we can go through here. There's some candles we can collect right where we land. And more hidden throughout this little maze. At this point, we just need to head up the ladder and sneak back down it. And that is it for this area. We just keep going, it'll take us back to the main area of the vault. So our first cluster is just to the left here. Now today my daily extra candle cakes are here, so we will see some that aren't usually. We have some candles there. This is one of the cakes, so it will not always be here. To get into this area, we need the telekinesis emote that is on the second level of the vault. And we have a candle cake here. This one will always be here. And just a few spare candles next to that spirit. At this point, we're headed up to the second level. Now we have a giant candle cake, and this one will always be here. But this one across is one of those daily ones, so it will not always be here. A couple candles here, and then we're going to open this door. To open it, you just need four people to help you lift it up. And in this door, you can get that telekinesis emote. We have a giant cake under the table, and this one will always be here. Headed up to the next level. As we progress along these platforms, there are some small clusters of candles. One here. One here. Right there. And from here, we're just going to fly on top of the roof of this gazebo. We have some candles in the corner here. And from here, if you have enough light, you can just fly up to the next level. I'd say make sure you have at least level 9, maybe. But you may be able to get away with less. Okay, so I'm going to start at this area here with a little waterfall. Some candles right below it. Fly up. Uh, this candle cake is just a daily cake. It's not always going to be here cross onto this platform. We're just going to jump up. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. And we should have some candles up top. From here, we're going to fly across these moving platforms. And there's a cake, and this one will always be here. I'm going to head to where that little cosmic manta call is. We have some wax here. Across, we have a candle cake, which will always be here. And at the very top, we have another candle cake and some smaller candles, which will always be here. Now we're going to head up two levels, actually. So we're going to be skipping a level. And here we are at the area where the mantas will carry you up. You just have to attach yourself to a manta. 
and he will bring you all the way up. If you have maximum flight, you might be able to fly up. Better to bring a friend with you just in case so they can sort of recharge you. We have some small assorted candles here. Ooh. This big cake is a daily one, so it's not always going to be here. Smaller cakes will always be here, though. And we have one last candle cake hidden behind the meditation circle. And that is all of the wax in the game. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you found this helpful, and I will see you around. Bye-bye.